People are wicked. People are wicked. Wow. I've always helped people to heal. What do you say? I said I've always helped people to heal. Mm -hmm. I, like, but inside I'm down. When you're in problem, I've always, like, there, talk to you, help you. But I don't get the same energy back. And this month I'm done. I'm removing everybody from my shoulder. But carry your problem yourself. Because helping people heal from their own trauma or whatever that is wrong with them, at the same time, nobody is there for me. Like, I'm done. I can't do this Okay. Anymore. So the first thing is this. This is why you're here. So you, the first thing is that people are wicked. And that means that you've shifted in your perspective from God's word. Because that's not a scriptural perspective. That's a perspective of your experience. Where, where is she? She's crying. What's her name? What's her name, please? You need to use my microphone. I can't hear you from where you are. Jennifer. Jennifer. So wh why do you say people are wicked? People don't see the good you do. But what? You, you can do 99 good things to yeah. people. But 1% you're a terrible person. 1% one percent what? You can do 99 good things for people. But 1% of your wrong, you're a terrible person. Wow. So why did you say this? I give so much energy out good vibe, any good thing I can offer, but in return, I get zero. I okay. feel like I give people backbone to rely on, but in return, I don't get the same backbone to rely on. So let me ask you a question. Do you expect people that to help to help you? No. Who do you expect to help you? God. God. So why do you get disappointed when people that you help don't help you? It's, I don't want anything in return, but sometimes I... Do. You don't want anything in return, but you're disappointed that they didn't return it. No, it's not. Can you see a contradiction there? No, I'm not disputing what you're saying, but I'm just exposing some things to you. So let me say to you, what's your name again, please? Jennifer. Jennifer. Let me give you my principle. When you help people, do it to God. Yeah. Never expect things yeah. back. Trust that God will raise up people to help you. Yeah. That's the priest of the Bible. The Bible says, give and it shall be given unto you. Good measure, press down, shake it together. Shall what? Shall men give to your bosom? It didn't say the people you gave to shall give back to your bosom. You know why God didn't do that? If God did that, we will make it political. Help me, I help you. So God did it in such a way that help. But when you help, do it as unto the Lord. And God will raise up people. Have you noticed? Oh my God. Have you noticed that the people Joseph helped, it was in Potiphar's house. Potiphar did not remember. The wife lied. It was someone in prison that remembered him. Out of all the people he helped, and that's what I'm saying to you, when God will help you, it doesn't need a line. It is one person. So when you say people are wicked, they could be, but you don't need people. It's just one person you need. One person can change the story of your life forever. And my prayer is that this month you meet that person. Yeah.